buff loper is a terrestrial herbaceous weed native to Mexico and the Great Plains region of the United States. It was spread throughout North America in the 1800s, likely in the fur and feed of cattle and horses. It's still frequently spread as a contaminant in birdseed and is currently established in most of North America. Buffalo burr grows best in open sunny sites and capitalizes on disturbance. It is most typically found along roadsides, waste areas, dry rangeland, fields, and under bird feeders. It is drought tolerant, but also grows well in moist areas, thriving in a variety of climates. Buffalo burr is problematic in that it displaces native plant species and reduces range and crop production. The plant contains alkaloids that are poisonous to humans and livestock and cause livestock poisoning when present in hay. The leaves and fruit often get stuck in sheep's wool, reducing its value. Buffalo burr is an annual forb. Seeds typically germinate in spring, but occasionally in fall in warmer climates. Plants develop fibrous roots as well as a taproot. In spring, stems grow up to two and a half feet tall with occasional branches. Leaves are alternate, up to five inches long, and have deep irregular lobes with wavy margins. Sharp yellow spines up to a half inch long occur on all stems, leaf stalks, and leaf veins. All parts of the plant, including the flowers, are covered in tiny, sometimes sharp, hairs. Flowering occurs from mid to late summer when plants produce clusters of three to 10 bright yellow flowers at stem tips. Each flower is up to one inch across and has five petals fused at the base, creating a bell shape. The stamens are unique in that there are two types. The four upper stamens are yellow and straight and are smaller than the lower fifth stamen, which is more maroonish and slightly curved. Plants can reach reproductive maturity in as little as four weeks. The fruits are berries that are covered with spines, giving them a burr appearance. Each one contains 50 to 120 small brown seeds that are propelled outward when the fruit reaches maturity. A single large plant can produce several thousand seeds that remain viable in the soil for up to 10 years. The plant dies in the fall and breaks off near the base of its central stem, becoming a tumbleweed that can be blown about by the wind, scattering its seeds. There are many related species in the Solanaceae, or nightshade family, present in North America that resemble buffalo burr with their overall size and flower shape. Most lookalikes are not spiny, and those that are typically have whitish or purplish flowers. The spines, yellow flower color, and two different types of stamens help differentiate buffalo burr from potential lookalikes. <laughs>